I usually, usually people go, wait, what do you do? Because I usually at work or wherever I am have like a flower in my hair and I'm like, oh yeah, I wrestle, like fight people on the weekend. And they're like, wait, what? Because <laughs> it doesn't usually come off as something I would do, but um, then as they ask me more questions and we start to talk about it, they actually usually start to think it's a pretty cool thing. They're usually pretty curious at first, like, wait, does it hurt? Like, you get hit in the face on the weekends? They're like, yeah, sometimes. I got a black eye right now, so. I have a degree in dance education. Yes, 22 years of ballet and still going. I teach now, but grew up a ballerina, and now I'm a professional wrestler. It's a little. <laughs> Strangely enough, yes, I love ballet, I do that, but um, I've never been a girly girl. I was the one on the playground collecting spiders and like kept them in jars in my desk <laughs> at school. Like I was that kid. Um, not too many friends. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I always liked wrestling when I was growing up. It was something, when I got the opportunity to watch, I would, um, but my mom doesn't like it at all, so I was never allowed to watch wrestling. And um, as time has gone on, she's learned to accept it, and um, we, we don't talk about it too much, but she understands that it's more than she thought it was. I think at first she was just like, oh, my little baby who's been this ballerina her whole life, is gonna throw away that dream for something else, but I think now she realizes, wait, wrestling is actually getting you places. Like I'm going, I, I've been to Japan, I have the opportunity uh, to go to Europe this October. I think once she started seeing the opportunities that I'm getting through it, she started to accept it. I feel whenever I do go into a match against a man, I go in with something to prove, at least assumed by the fans already, because of that whole stereotype, oh, the women, woman's automatically going to be weaker than the man, but I don't look at them any different. I look at it as another competitor because ever since I've started wrestling, I've always been, oh, I want to wrestle the boys, I want to be equal with the guys, I don't want to be looked at as separate. I mean, you can ask DJ or anybody, like I've been saying that since day one, five years ago when I walked into the wrestling school. And now I'm actually getting to do it, which is pretty cool. One, two, three, four. Come on. Come on. I thought you were a fighter. Even though things are changing, there's a big stereotype still that women are supposed to be inferior to men. And it's just because that is seen in their culture, I guess, so much, people automatically assume, oh, well, this is going to be an uphill battle for her. But you can ask my opponents, <laughs> some of the ones I've wrestled lately, that I hit them back just as hard. <laughs> I don't take it easy on anybody. <laughs> but if I dish it, I can take it. So. <laughs> I mean, I know I've encountered some men that are just like, oh, this is stupid, like, you would never beat a man, like, this isn't real, like, and, um, it's kind of a hard thing because you're like, well, I work just as hard as you and bust my ass at training and, like, I work, I'm a bartender, so I work all night long and then I wake up early enough to go and run and go to the gym and, like, be in the best shape I can be to do this and it, it sucks when you get underestimated still but I mean in order to push forward there's going to be people who aren't going to believe you're going to be able to do it and so you just have to 
deal with it and let their negativity motivate you rather than discourage you. Yeah, yeah, it's it's awesome to hear that too, just because like you have people who want you to win and cheer you on and a lot of people don't get to experience that in their life. So and uh, we'll see you back here today. Tired now and sweaty. <laughs> I have some old cuts from last week. It's just kind of a, I kind of heal and then get beat up again. <laughs> it's just like whenever I would be a character in a ballet and the little girls come running over to you at the end of that and you look like this big princess to them or now I'm this girl who just stood up to this guy and oh my gosh she can do this too and I've always said like as long as I have one little girl somewhere or little boy I don't care that says I want to be like Kimberly if I inspire somebody then I've really done my job so it's the best feeling when I see that. <laughs> 